memory is around for now, uh, not to, uh, let's say 25 to 30 years. Uh, it started with so-called SLC flashes, single level cell flashes, where in each and every floating gate, which is the smallest part of a, of a, of a memory, of a flat flash memory, were, uh, stored one bit. So there was a zero or either or a one in that single cell. Nowadays uh, we, are up to f we are storing up to four bits per cell in the same system, but it's it's only this is only one fold. The other fold is that the systems even or the, the, the gates, the cells itself even became smaller. So it went down the quality in two dimensions. First of all, you store more data per cell, and the cell itself is much smaller. So if you, we talk about storing four bits per cell now and compare it to the SLC which I mentioned before where you only had a zero and a one, today you have to store 16 different states in that same cell compared to one. Now to, to manage that exact position of that state is very complicated for the, for the memory controller and that takes time. And that makes it less reliable because the small movements in the load of the of the cell makes a state to move into other state and therefore creating wrong data. And now the controller, the flash memory controller, has the task to identify these errors and correct them before it is delivered to the to the host, so that the host can work with the correct data because it's very critical if an industrial automation system or an automation system which relies on the data or any system which relies on the data gets wrong information.